MTA offers two basic styles of amplifiers. We have analog amplifiers, which are, can be used in uh, legacy systems. They have an analog output for each channel. And we also have a new digital, uh, app, digital AccuMeasure amplifier with a pure digital output, no analog output. Let's talk a little bit about applications of capacitive displacement measurements. A very popular one is piezoflexure. This is where you have a uh, piezoelectric dielec uh, element that is, has an electric charge applied to it and it moves a stage. Two stages can be bolted together to get X and Y motion. Our amplifiers are extremely good in the probes at measuring down to nanometer resolution. We also have had excellent success with semiconductor wafer thickness and measuring flatness bow and warp. MT has a whole product line uh, called the Semi-Automated and a Proforma 300 that are specifically set up to measure semiconductor wafer thickness. Coplanarity, where you need to ensure, uh, for example, a semiconductor wafer mask alignment. You don't want any tilt on it. You also want to measure the overall height. Lens focusing is another popular application. Autofocusing, where you set the alignment, uh, eliminate lens tilt, and also the focal point. Bearing runout and measuring bearing vibration, uh, where you don't need to actually have an absolute wired ground, hardwired ground. It can still conduct a ground through the ball bearing uh, film, oil film that's in there. Another popular application is lobing and axial and radial runout on hubs for automobiles. We can measure uh, very high, with very high precision uh, the, the types of uh, defects that manufacturers want to check and, and, and ensure that these don't make it to your car. We've also sold capacitance probes that measure to automobile tires. The, um, there's a conductive material that's actually in the tire and we can con uh, measure from the face of the probe through the tire back through the hub which is would then be grounded. We also have uh, high temperature probes that are used for disc rotor runout uh, experiments, measurements, um, some production facilities where we look at coning, thickness, and vibration. Vibration is another popular application. Uh, machinery health monitoring. Our digital AccuMeasure amplifier has Ethernet connectivity and USB, so it's uh, ideal for networking a number of systems that could be used in a plant for vibration monitoring. We also do automated inspection where you're looking at high precision dimensions of parts as they move by on an assembly line. We do critical dimension inspection um, on rotating objects. Um, you can think of such things as car camshafts, precision parts that are used in, uh, in uh, automobile engine construction. And recently we've introduced a thread inspection system where we can, ex um, <clears throat> using an internal uh, thread inspection probe that's got a ring around it. it, it looks at a 360 degree displacement measurement as it's inserted into the threads. And we can generate a profile as you insert that probe down in the threads to make sure the threads are all there, it's the, the correct pitch diameter, um, that the threads don't stop short of where you intended. MTI can also measure non-conductive targets. Um, there's a dielectric constant associated with dielectric targets, and if you know what that dielectric constant is, you can, uh, if you insert this material in the gap between a probe of a fixed, fi at a fixed gap where you know the height of the probe above a conducting um, metal target, you can measure the thickness of the non-conductive material. We also, if you look at our website, uh, we have a number of uh, formulas and techniques for figuring out what the dielectric constant is of your material and how to set your probes up to make this measurement. It's a little bit tricky, but it's possible to do it.